What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Low Country Fishing. I'm Dan from Savannah and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Fishing on foot. But I guarantee you we are going to get out here and we are going to catch some fish before I put my butt right back in that boat. So you guys stay tuned. You're going to enjoy the episode. We won't be on foot all day. We'll be back in the boat a little bit later. But I just want to mix it up a little bit. All right. So as this tide's dropping out, I'm starting to notice there's a lot of oysters right around here around these pylons. And I don't want to take the gamble of throwing in there from here. Uh, this is where I would normally target an area with a boat, but you got to think when you're fishing on foot, you get snagged, you're losing that lure. And I love these Texas uh, Z-Man Texas side jigs, and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to play it a little bit safe. As you can see, this current is still ripping out of here, but in this area here, where the water, it's got a little cove, this water is stale, stagnant, and quiet, which is a good opportunity for a little bait fish to roll in and seek refuge until it finds mama redfish or mama flounder hanging out in here. So it's just a good example of some things to look for that you may not have, have uh, caught when you're on a boat, but when you're on foot, it makes you slow down and really take in nature and look at your surroundings. So. All right, enough talking. Let's get back to the fish. <laughs> oh, it let go. How's about that? You don't get lucky like that every day. You think you're going to get in there and set a fish, you wind up setting the log, and then the log lets go. See, that? See this right here, you guys? See that fray right there? Doot. that's from that log and that's all it takes to lose a fish just like that so now let's re-rig oh. <laughs> is that a flounder yeah I got a flounder a little flounder. He is eating size, yep. So here we go. Damn, dude. There's a little, a little flounder girl. She's got to be 12. She'll go 12. But she's a little skinny. A little too skinny. Yeah, you got to think too, you got all this water moving. It's just a lot of these fish, they're not going to sit and try to fight the, the water. They're going to come in to the edges where the current breaks off and they don't have to work as hard like this. Like there's an eddy like right here. See how your bobber's just sitting there? Yeah. There's no effort to sit here. And then they know the little bait will, will be wanting that too because little bait can't keep up. And they just wait for them to come. There's a fish. Nice red. Oh, I don't have my net. I'll help you. I'll help. Pull them up. Oh, what a beautiful fish. What I tell you, sitting right in these little coves. Alright, baby girl. You look just a little bit over slot. There we go. Oh, that crusher hurt. Now that for a low country red fish. She is probably 23 on the number. You wanna go back to the But I have uh I have a lot of redfish in the freezer. I'm gonna let her go. How about that? First one of the day. Bang, where'd I say they be? Right? Right, right where you literally pointed that spot. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
this little cove comes in just like that like I was telling him these redfish and fish in general don't want to work and work and work and work all day they want to sit in these little coves and sure enough that's where she was all right Mr. Vince let's go get another one all right let's see if y'all are in here where are you at girls I gotta get that back. I need to get that back. That line laid right over on those trees, and those trees are full of barnacles. There we go. He's running right at me. <laughs> Don't run at me. He's running right at me. Don't run at me. Get out of there. Got him? Get out of the boat and fish on foot sometimes. It gets good. All right. Let's see how we're going to get her back. I'll go grab the net. Here we go. I'm going to walk her back. Try not to lose my rig. She's up at the front. There we go. She is. Ooh. She's probably going in the grease. Ooh. How close she's. Pinch that tail. Pinch it together. 24. Yep, 24. She just, just under 24. She just got the golden ticket. So, <laughs> yeah, yet yeah, she goes back. There she goes. And she'll kick out when she's ready. There she goes. All right. Let's go get another one, buddy. Alright, so we are back on the boat. Fishing by foot it will conclude for today. And let me guys just show you real quick what we're using here. This is uh, the Z-Man that I always talk about. Extra stretchy, it's got the elastic material. Texas jig, weedless. This is a 4 inch uh, paddler Z. And overall it's about a 5 inch bait presentation. 20 pound leader, short leader. Um, as far as the main line goes, it's 10 pound uh, Power Pro braid. I don't fish really heavy uh, main line braid just because it doesn't cast as well. The rod is a Falcon XG. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's the Red Fisher rod. You guys can get this rod at Bass Pro. It's amazing. It's more like a heavier medium than a real medium heavy. And the reel is my go-to Shimano Stratic 9-year-old FJ3000. Fantastic. All right, so we are at dead low tide. The incoming has just started. And the name of the game now is going to be sight fishing redfish. So earlier when I was bank fishing from right up there, I was watching these redfish crash these little shrimp coming out of these little small creeks up here and up here on the left. And we just saw them tear up some more shrimp up here on the left. So the game plan is going to be just to continue creeping up and see if we can get one to hook up. I got that rattle in my... Let's see if I can call them over. Get that rattle on me. Put that sauce on it. Get that sauce on it. Let's see where these big girls are at. Ho 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 ho! See that? Right in the mouth of that creek. 
Set us up to stay left. Look at them in there tailing after them. Oh, look at them eating, crushing it. All right, you guys, so we're noticing the uh, redfish was absolutely crushing the shrimp right here. So we're gonna try to get over here to the left and set up a little bit and try not to spook them and see if we can get a couple good tosses in there once we get closer. There is a ton of bait in here. All right, let me see if I can get some cast in here now. Oh, that's right in there. Pick it up, baby. Look at them chasing all those shrimp. There she is. All right, well, the plan worked out. We were watching her crush all this bait. Now she's awake. I'm gonna let her get a little tired before I get her too close. Oh, okay, she's coming left side. That was the lucky phone call of the wife. Like clockwork. Here she comes. Easy baby. Easy girl. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's all over. Alright, so let's take a look. Let's get a measure. Alright. Tip to tail, she's 24. Mr. Vince is going to get me on a portrait mode for my Instagram channel. You guys will be able to see this on Instagram. Yep, good. Cool. All right, let's get this girl, girl back in. I'll let her go this way so she don't swim back towards where we're going. Woo. There she goes. Nice, bro. Good pulling. My man Vince got me all set up perfectly. Pulled me down the river nice and quiet. Thank you, Mr. Vince. Creek mouth. Low tide. I'm sure these fish are just either eating the bait that's coming out last minute or they're stage waiting to get back in. So, not sure which of the two, but it makes sense. Target creek mouth, you guys. <laughs> 